So give me an example of like a functionally safe system or, you know, where maybe functional safety would enter into a system. Yeah, of course. Or into an engineering project. Yep, yep. So for that. example, um, I'm going to use a, uh, a recent project we had. Sure. Uh, boats. Fast boats. <laughs> boats that are, uh, so the, the fishermen of um, uh, bass uh, or other fish, they like to go real fast from <laughs> one side of the lake to the next. And they cruise at uh, 70 miles an hour on the water. Seriously? Yes, seriously. That is quite fast. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, and, and by the way, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to show you why this is so critical. If you're in a car going at that speed and you see that there is a problem ahead of you, you have two main functions that allow you or uh, may allow you to avoid a, an accident. Steering and braking, right? Yeah. So you're going to use one or the other, or maybe both. If you're going at 70 miles an hour, on a, you know, on a lake, <laughs> um, they're steering, and that's it. <laughs> uh, there's no braking, right? There's no braking, yeah, and you can slow sense. down, etc. But if you are in front of a, uh, let's hope that that never happens to anyone, a, a swimmer that you had not seen, right? Or uh, if you didn't see a rock, or whatever. The only thing that you have in front of, uh, uh, to avoid the accident is just to steer. So then, because of that, the steering of a boat that has several hundreds of horsepower in the in the back is is, is really critical. 